Hey y'all, back with another video. Today what I'm gonna do is part three of my ABC series. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to preserve curly hairstyles overnight. Got a lot of requests for this and I think this is a really good opening to how to preserve any hairstyle because the curly styles take a little more effort and a little more time in the mornings. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple tricks that I use that always work for me so that I can get a little more longevity out of my curly hair. And as you guys can see, I have a new camera, new lighting. So I'm hoping that this is better. You guys give me some feedback, tell me how it looks, tell me if you like it, tell me if you don't like it, um, all that good stuff. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay. I'm going to just, my hair is freshly relaxed, but I'm just gonna throw some curls in here so that I can show you guys how to uh, maintain your hair when you have a really curly style. So I'm just gonna go like maybe this section right here. I'm just gonna do this section right here, curl it really tight and style it and show you. And then I'm gonna come back and show you the steps for keeping it. Um, prepped overnight. You have your curls in and I take my curls and I do this when I have a curly style, which I'm just twisting it and laying it back down so that we, when I turn to the side, you can see, so that the style is really curly. And I'll do one on, I'll do one right here too, so you can see. That's all. All right, so that's a really tight curl right there. So I'll leave that one and I'll show you how to prep okay. it. So the first thing you wanna do is, this is what I do. You kinda gently comb through the curl and then reform it with your finger. So like this one, I would comb through it, comb through the curl, use my finger like a roller, like that. And just make sure it's formed tight, like that. And it is time consuming, but you want to do that like all over. So just like wrap them, the curls around your finger like that. And then tuck them. So roll it around your finger. I'll show you again. Take it, roll it around your finger like this. So that it's smooth and it's tight like that. Take your finger out and then take the whole curl and all I'm doing is I'm just tucking it under, like taking the bottom of the curl and tucking it under, like that. Like that, and you would do it to each, you know, little section. You don't have to do it like each individual teeny tiny curl, but you do want to do sections. So maybe like sections that are like this section, this section, you know, this section, this section, like that. Um, and then you would do the same thing just to about here if your hair was curly all over. I just cut my hair a little shorter. So if I was to do my hair curly all over, my curls would probably stop like right there. So you just would do each section like that. I'm going to do the same thing on the sides. Take the hair, comb it, and I'm just putting my finger in from the back because this is the side. Make sure it's smooth like that. Take your finger out and just tuck the bottom of that curl under take this same thing and then you just tuck that curl under make sure that one's still tucked under like that so you would have these little tucked curls all over your head this is the key to maintaining a curly style you want to smush the curl so you have the curl like this, right? You want to smush this flat to your head. If this is your scalp and this is your curl, you want to tuck it under and then you want to smash that flat. 
So normally I like the black junior rabbit strips because they're a little uh, sturdier, they're a little tougher in texture. But when I have a curly style, I do use the white ones because they're a little softer. Uh, they have a little more give and they're not as, um, they don't hold the hair as hard and tight together. You would think you would want that with curls, but you don't. You want a soft hold because you want to be able to ne the next morning to manipulate the curls and refresh them. Take your strip and lay it on the curl and smush it to your head like that. If I had curls over here, it would be the same thing. Just like you normally would tie your hair. You want to smash the curls down. Tie your strip. And these obviously don't have the um, you know, wrapping strip on them, but you want to keep them tucked. And the way you're going to smush the ones in the top is that you're going to use your scarf. So I take my scarf, which is just in a giant, you know, triangle, hold my head down, place it on your head like normal. And then with the sides, I hold them and the top, I'm carefully pulling it forward because you don't want to move the curls but you want this to be able to be flat. And I press it down on my curls, press it down. Then tie this. Take this and I still tug it a little, not as much as I do when my hair is flat and I wrap it, but tug it a little. Flip this up and tie this. And then I usually cut these at night because they annoy me. But you don't have to cut them. I mean, you could tuck them under. Just make sure they're not on your hair because it could crumple up. And um, if it crumples up and like it crumples up here and it's laying on that piece of hair, when you take this wrap down the next morning, that piece of hair is going to be crumpled. So this is what I would do just as normal. Go to bed, you know, whatever else um, you do to prep yourself at night as usual. The next morning, I would simply take this down, you want to carefully remove it. And you can see just that quickly that these curls are smashed down flat to the top of my head. Take this loose, same thing here, you can see that it's flat it smashed it to my head, which is what you want. Then if you take whatever moisturizer you use, oil, coconut oil, whatever, oh, coconut oil, whatever it is you wanna use, I don't know why I can't tell. And then you take the curl, okay, see how this one smushed? I'm looking over here, y'all, because my mirror's over here. Take it like this. So all you're kinda doing is untucking it. Take this one, see how it's smashed? That's the one that I just tucked under and it just, got smashed to my scalp. You take the curl and pull it up. You see the curl formation? That's all you do, you pick it back up off your scalp. Then you go in and you can smooth the curl with your fingers. That's why I said add whatever moisturizer you use because all you're gonna do is reform them and fluff it back out basically. So you can see how now that's the same curl we originally made. And if you had curls, you know, all over your head, this is gonna look much fuller than it's looking on my head right now because I only added a couple curls to show you guys. And you can see them, they just plump back up. So if you've curled your hair all over, added a little hairspray or whatever it is that you've added, worn that style all day, you come home and you wrap your hair like this, and the next morning you're just plumping everybody back out. Just like that, look at that curl. It just plumps back out and it's the same curl reformed. And then you can, um, over days, I like to take my fingertips and run it through like that day after day because what happens, it gives you like a more fluffy appearance each day. And that's how I'm able to get like three days, maybe four days out of a super curly style. And then if it gets too out of hand or you really have a curl that's just frizzed on you, you can take it, comb it back through. I took the comb, have the curl wrapped over my finger. I took the comb like this, put my finger back underneath here, 
and I'm twirling the comb like that. You see what I did? I'm twirling the comb like this, like that. To reform it. If that still doesn't give you a nice smooth curl, then you may have to bump a couple of the pieces again, but lightly. And if you really look at that, there's not a huge difference between this curl looking like it does now that I just ran the flat iron through it and the way it looked when we just refluffed it. So you can get that same look uh, multiple days and you don't always have to reapply heat. Like I said, you might have to hit a couple spots, you know, here and there that's being like disobedient, but you don't have to recurl your entire head. So a curly style is going to require more maintenance. It is going to require a little more time in the mornings, but you still can absolutely make it last for more than just one day. Okay guys, that was it. I hope it helped you guys out. I hope you learned something from this. If you try it and you have questions or comments, please let me know. I'll get back to you guys. I can help you walk through anything or explain anything better. I'm always open to do that. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, supporting, and subscribing. If you haven't, head over to my website, kwrite.com. I have lots more about short hair, healthy hair, tips, tricks, and more in-depth videos. And until next time, guys, bye.